back at the counter yet again matt yep. and jim strong's garage yeah yeah and it's a uh, friday it is friday all so. day today we did uh more of the same yeah vintage tools everybody loves spindles yeah antique cars antique spindles yeah a hand in a glove yeah axle restoration common model t failures yeah all, all covered today wrapped into one yeah yeah so we'll uh, get into the shop there, and we're going to fix a common uh, axle problem with a uh, uncommon tool. Model T time again. Yeah. Never seems to not be Model T time around oh, here. Oh, right? man. Yeah, no. Steady as she goes with the Model Ts. That's okay. Yeah, no, they're a delightful little thing to have to uh, work on. So Yeah, this is a 1925 uh, coupe that uh, these really nice people, they bought at an auction because uh, her grandfather uh, had one back in the day. They yeah. chose the Model T. Why? Yeah, fond Why not? memories of it. Why not? Yeah. yeah. So, no, just so we're going to task to go over it, make it safe. So, now that's out of the way. What do we yeah, got yeah. going on, Jim? Oh, we've got uh, Kingpin issues. Oh, we'll as take it everybody is. Along it for seems a, to be Kingpin City. Oh, boy, yeah. Uh, the Chevy Will It Run video did so good, and so did all the other Will It Run videos. We're going to do more spindle videos. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we got these old tools that everybody seems to like looking at. Uh, some of you have seen some of these tools in action, but uh, some of you haven't. So yeah. let's uh, let's fix the spindle using some cool tools. Here, if you want to uh, jack it up, we'll take a little. Uh, we'll get another cool tool. Yeah, a view of the issue at hand. The claw. The claw. This is a uh, Walker Manufacturing Company over center jack. Uh, it's really, really cool the way it works. It has this cable system here, and you pull this, and it's spring-loaded, springs up to the height you need, and all you do, that's in. We, it is raised to the right level, so we just go ahead and do this, and perfect. Yeah, when the wheel turns, the entire kingpin is turning. This as it moves, those threads. Are now gone. They're, They're gone. Uh, an oval. Now what do we do, Jim? So what Jim? do we do? Do we go to our parts book and look up the part number for the front axle and see Perhaps if Ford we can, get a can new, bring uh, one in? Get one in through the dealership. Yes. Yeah. Or Stevens. Stevens. Yeah. Stevens speed up tools have uh, made us this tool in 1925 to use on this 1925 Model T. You see these helicoils? This little tap. And this unit right here, along with this reamer, are going to save this axle. Yeah. Stay tuned. We've got our Model T tool. This tool is for Model Ts. It does the hubcap and then various other things on the car. So let's get the hubcap going. All right, now, Holder, go ahead. Woo Ford used uh, extremely fine threads on everything. Hubcap roof, made in Canada. That's cool. All right. We, now, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Model T. They have right-hand thread and left-hand thread on said spindles. Yeah, and the one neat thing is, like, opposed to conventional uh, left and right threaded spindles and all that, with these, I'm pretty sure it's because the bearing itself is also threaded. It is indeed threaded, yeah. But the right side is reverse thread so that the bearing doesn't tighten up on you. That's right. It's whereas the other ones... They have it so that if it comes loose, it'll uh, it's not going to wheel off. But. That's right. As you can see, back in the olden times, you didn't need the 16-foot-wide uh, snap-on toolbox because tools are more compact. Ah, yes. Do the 16-inch box. Yeah. It's just fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and away we go. Yeah. Spindle. No brake drum to contend with. No None of that garbage must, in the way. No fuss. Eh? Yeah. All right, Jim, let's take this thing off, and we'll get our Stevens speed-up tool. Yeah, speed up tools, right? Your spindle yeah. saver, three thousand. This is a very common problem with Model T Ford front ends, because they made a tool specifically to fix it. Kind of faking your way out of it. I can always get a. Okay, there's a spindle bolt. This seems to be in pretty good shape. There's no real wear on it. Slide that aside. No more threads. Yeah. It's the wrong shape. It's, yeah, it's just, just plumb bad. Yeah, nothing good going on for anybody there. 
You might have seen this on that uh, beautiful uh, collection of Ford tools we bought a while back. We didn't know what it was for. Yeah. We have since learned what it was for and have used it several times. It is, in fact, a reaming fixture and reparation device yeah. for the front axle. Let's see, well, we did this. Get some cutting oil in here. And just kind of here's the reamer that does the work which is pretty neat the Stevens Worcester 5 8 24 US but anyway it's cool because it has a reamer built in and then a tap yeah. and this little stop thing that keeps pushing the reamer up so that's part of the set pretty neat eh? all right Jim yeah. tell the good folks at home what you're gonna do so now we just have to clean our new threads here give it a quick little wipe and I've uh, gone ahead, installed our uh, helicoil thing just on the old spindle bolt. Right? Yeah. And uh, we'll apply a little bit of Loctite to it just to uh, keep it in place. So it'll be uh, its new forever home. Yeah, just a dab will do you. Indeed it will. And away we go. Perfect. See, it protrudes a little bit, so it just needs a small grind on the bottom. Yeah. Come in here with the old grinder, clean up the bottom here. Kingpin comes right in. Threads in now. Well, while we got them kingpins Perfect. out, maybe uh, part of our problem was that the uh, spindle bushing might have been a little bit too tight. What do you say? Uh, yes, yes. Perfect. There you go. All right, and we're going to uh, just chase this thing out here with the uh, ream. Beautiful. The coil. There, that's the fit you want. So, back to the car. Something that's important to note is that uh, all the bushings in the world wouldn't have made that less sloppy. That was yeah. worn in the actual axle. Exactly, and the more you run it like that, it's just going to wear into the axle. And then the top. the top. Luckily, the top didn't get... Uh, Two chowders here, so help with a trusty wrench. Run her down the old flagpole here and see who salutes. <coughs> oh, good. Now you just want a bit of end play on it. Oh, that's beautiful. You can get our uh, steering back here. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, all this Model T front end components are uh, they're oiled as well. Uh, instead of greased, quite a few of them. Most of them, all of them. Oh man, that's great now. That's gonna be great. Couldn't be Beautiful. better. Beautiful. There right. it is. Final piece of the puzzle, as with any automobile, it's wheels. We've taken the liberty of uh, Repacking the wheel bearings off screen. Full of grease. Full of grease. Good. No tricks. Pin. Cutter pin. Cutter pin in. And the job's done. Or is it, Jim? But wait, there's more. Go ahead and uh, get that uh, Steven speed up tool. Oh, 
yeah. Another one. Beautiful Stevens T181 hubcap threading tool. Looks nice. It just kind of clamps on over. Yeah, you give her a couple of squeaks. Well, you'll be able to put your hubcap on without fighting. There you go, my ah, friend. With ease. Thanks to the Stevens Speed Up Rethreading Tool. Yeah, this episode brought to you by Stevens Tools. Yeah, Stevens Tools. <laughs> <laughs> you go down to your local Stevens supplier and pick you up a set. All right, folks, there it is. Ready for uh, 97 more years of service. Yeah. Know a patron, thank one. Or yeah, if you don't. yeah. Or if you are a patron, thank you. Yeah, hey. exactly. Um, thanks to those who subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please do. If you have any interest in old Fords or old tools or old cars or old really anything, yeah, yeah. you might find it interesting. 